Good evening. I'm David Kramer at the National Weather Service, the Alaska Statewide Weather. Starting off for the remainder of the day, we have another strong system pushing through the Bering Sea with its front moving through the eastern part of the Bering and starting to bring some snow, blowing snow conditions to areas right along the west coast to include St. Lawrence Island. Further to the south, there's some warm air there transitioning the snow over terrain for the Pribilof Islands and down into the central and eastern Aleutians. Behind the system, more cold air is coming back in, transitioning the western Aleutians over to snow. As this system starts to move through the western portions of the state, we are expecting winter weather advisories and some winter storm warnings for snow and blowing snow for some areas of the western part of the coastline, western part of the interior that will expand out through eastern portions of the interior as well as we push through the end of the week. For the remainder of today, however, we do have high pressure over the mainland Alaska keeping much of the snow out along the west coast and some areas down in the panhandle where we are seeing some mix of rain and snow for the panhandle. As we move into tonight, that high pressure will help push out the low pressure that is in the gulf that was bringing precipitation to the panhandle area and precipitation will taper off throughout the night. This frontal system that was over the eastern part of the Bering will move over the west coast of the state tonight pushing in the snow and blowing snow conditions further into western portions of the interior. In southern locations of the YK Delta area, we are going to see a mix of rain and snow with the potential for some light freezing rain, but primarily snow and blowing snow is expected. As we move into Thursday, the conditions of snow and blowing snow will continue to stretch out into more of the central parts of the interior and some locations in the eastern parts of the Brooks Range. West coast of the state will still see snow and blowing snow conditions through Thursday, with some areas along the Arctic coastline also seeing some blowing snow. As we move further to the south into the Alaska Peninsula Kodiak Island area, warm enough to see rain out in those locations. Now over the Aleutians, not a lot of activity until we get out by the western Aleutians where snow is expected. On Friday, our system will have started to break down. However, there will still be enough wind and snow throughout much of the interior part of the state to still see snow and blowing snow conditions, and this does include the west coast as well and down into the Alaska Range. As we get into south central Alaska, high pressure out over the Gulf of Alaska will keep the snow further to the north and will also protect the panhandle area where we're not expecting to see any new precipitation on Friday. Then over the eastern Aleutian Islands and Alaska Peninsula, a mix of rain and snow is expected and drier conditions out further to the west as high pressure starts to build in over the western Aleutians. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm David Kramer.